Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video from our channel, SpaceX Future. In this video, today we take you through the recently leaked details about Elon Musk's SpaceX's insane new Starship. Make sure you stay until the very end of this video, cause this is gonna be exciting. Elon Musk has started working on the next generation of Starships. From the amazing stainless steel it utilizes to its reusability and cost-effectiveness, we've all heard about Starship, SpaceX's rocket on its journey to the stars. The spaceship is incredible with many flagship cutting-edge technology and advances. You'd think that Musk would be content, but that isn't the case. This is just a start, says Musk, who already has begun development on a larger, more capable spaceship. In today's video, we'll get an early glimpse at Elon Musk's Starship 2.0 plans. SpaceX's huge Starship project is undoubtedly familiar to you. The craft will be the tallest, heaviest, and most powerful space rocket ever launched into orbit when the spaceship and its extremely heavy booster are joined. Elon Musk believes that the Starship will one day help in the colonization of Mars, a long-term objective that both SpaceX and NASA share. Elon Musk, a billionaire, created SpaceX in 2002 after selling two prior businesses, Zip2, a software service internet company, and PayPal, an online payment provider. His long-term ambition was to create a Mars colony corporation. SpaceX, on the other hand, has been highly active in other areas of space, building Dragon Freight spacecraft and Crew Dragon astronaut spaceships for the International Space Station, as well as launching satellites for a variety of customers using the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. The ship's forerunner was originally unveiled by Musk in 2017. SpaceX built the completely reusable rocket to perform missions now done by the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, as well as more ambitious missions. The ship is powered by liquid oxygen and methane, so astronauts will be able to go to Mars, exploit the planet's natural resources to produce additional fuel, and then return home or further out. In terms of transporting personnel, cargo, and rockets to Mars, Musk publishes new, far-future Mars ideas on a regular basis. Musk renamed his Mars colonization spacecraft Starship in 2018. In terms of technology, there are two parts. Starship is the spaceship slash upper stage, and Super Heavy is the rocket booster necessary to escape Earth's deep gravity well, not required for other planets or moons, Musk stated in a tweet in 2018. In a stunning new picture, Elon Musk's SpaceX has given his next Starship prototype the black and white treatment. On Friday, the stacked rocket temporarily became the world's highest, and the image appears to show the Starship SN20, serial number 20, prototype conducting fit tests with the first stage Super Heavy rocket. The above Supercut movie illustrates the main SpaceX failures during the early development of Starship. At 395 feet, the stacked Starship and Super Heavy rocket is the world's highest rocket, and Starship is intended to execute complicated landing flips. Because Starship was a novel system trying to accomplish unexpected things, many of these problems happened. Nonetheless, the footage serves as a vivid and entertaining illustration of some of the challenges that come with spacecraft development. Previous Starship prototypes have performed test flights, launching the spaceship 6.2 miles into the sky from a launch facility near Boca Chica, Texas. However, the upcoming test flight will be the first time a completely stacked Starship, a super heavy atop a Starship spacecraft, and the system will reach orbit. Super Heavy will land in the Gulf of Mexico shortly after takeoff, if all goes according to plan. Meanwhile, the Starship will enter orbit, loop around our globe once, and land on the Hawaiian island of Kauai in the Pacific Ocean. SpaceX has already started making plans for this historic launch. The company stacked the two Starship components, a 29-engine Super Heavy called Booster 4 and a 6-engine Starship prototype known as SN20 atop the South Texas orbital launch platform for the first time on August 6th. Later that day, the pair was de-stacked so that technicians could operate on each element individually. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, tweeted late on May 5th, Starship landing nominal. Musk isn't known for his humility. For many, though, watching that stainless steel monster soar was nothing short of amazing. Over 5 million people tuned in to witness the event on YouTube, presumably with bated breath because every previous effort to land Starship had failed miserably. This isn't SN15. This Starship drops slowly, the power of its Raptor engines providing a gentle, secure landing after climbing 12 kilometers and then coasting down in a belly flop configuration 
using its wide silver body as a brake. It's likely that some NASA workers feel relieved. NASA granted SpaceX a $2.9 billion contract in April to adapt Starship to serve as the system that would carry people to the moon, much to the surprise of the space industry. The heavyweight national team, which included Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, experienced aerospace contractors Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Draper Labs, was the favorite to win the assignment. The choice was so surprising that several well-informed observers refused to believe it when word of it was initially leaked by the Washington Post. According to politics, the national team was the safest and most sure bet. Unsurprisingly, the losing teams, which included an alliance of small businesses led by Dynanics, immediately appealed NASA's decision, putting the initiative on hold for the time being. However, because SpaceX has the most capacity for less than half the price of the others, it's likely to win. Congress will undoubtedly punish NASA for failing to cooperate. Politicians think NASA exists to help them meet their desire for economic advantages for their citizens. However, the federal institution also represents America's pioneer spirit. It's a human organization with all the faults that come with the system that supports it. It does, however, have its moments, and this was certainly one of them. Of course, it was a defining moment for Musk, who launched SpaceX in 2002, fresh off the sale of his digital payments business PayPal, with the goal of sending humans to Mars, we know. Isn't it true that most entrepreneurs are in it for the money? Musk, on the other hand, defies the cynics. They were among those who helped convince him to make Mars his calling. If he needed more money, he knew there were many easier ways to obtain it than starting a rocket company, which was a notoriously tough endeavor with a slim possibility of success. He wanted to do something that will last forever. Colonizing Mars made the cut, along with electric cars and solar energy. Allow us to emphasize how transformative and meaningful Starship may be for our future in space, as well as our knowledge of life. I've been in this industry for quite some time. We've worked on the early design team for what's now known as the Space Launch System, NASA's flagship vehicle at Martin Marietta, now Lockheed Martin, in the late 1980s. It was designed as a quick and dirty approach to make a heavy lift booster from Space Shuttle System components that were still working at the time. The Space Launch System is nothing like a Starship. It's unlike anything else NASA has ever created. It's a whole new approach to space operations, and the potential impact on research is enormous. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel SpaceX Future for more such amazing content and updates. Also, if you have any thoughts about the latest SpaceX Starship plan, let us know in the comments below. See you in the next one.